This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. My name is D-Reader the Mean Dogs here once again for those of y'all that are new. And welcome to the Mean Dogs channel. What's up, Brick? All right, we got Little Rock, Arkansas in the building. Let's see what's coming in for Capricorn right now. So we got Give It to God. We got Take a Deep Breath on and exhale and release the situation to God for healings and answers. And then we have multi-faced. So we have, there are many layers of dimensions to the situation or the person that you're asking about. You have to get to know the situation more. You have to know get to know this person more. Take what energy resonates and leave with us. What else is coming in for Capricorn right now? So we got balancing masculine and feminine energy. That's going to be extremely important for a lot of my Capricorns. Allow your feminine side to, you know, creatively inspire you and allow your masculine side to give you the confidence that you need to move forward. And then we got prosperity. So guess what, Capricorn? There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So there's a lot of prosperity coming in for you, Capricorn. There's a lot of abundance coming in for you as well. But you have to trust the process and you have to also see this for yourself. We got Memphis, Tennessee in the building. Can we have a Leo scene in, y'all? We got divine support. So we got trust the signs that your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. And then we have socialize or join and unconventionally. So we have your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay for you to feel different and apart from others and make healthy and supportive choices as far as new friendships. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this is changing your circle. This is changing who's around you. This is changing who's in your energy. That's going to be the huge thing for a lot of my Capricorns right now. Somebody can, have a, somebody can be 62, somebody can be 51, 38, 25, or 42, or 20. What else is coming in for Capricorn right now? We got 62 shares, y'all. Can we make it to at least 70 shares? What else is coming in? So, we got sensitive emotions. And then we have value yourself. We got the diamond. What Capricorn doesn't love diamonds? Diamonds are going to be your protection. So, you remember I told Pisces that theirs was gold. Well, yours is diamonds. Diamonds is going to protect you spiritually. Diamonds is going to protect you emotionally right now. Value yourself. You are God's precious gem. But you also have to see this for yourself, Capricorn. What else is coming in for Capricorn right now? So we got increase your support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened doorways of abundance and help for new opportunities to come in for you as well. And then we have busy times and multitasking. Capricorn, some of y'all just swear y'all so busy. But you want to know what's so funny? You don't even have to be busy. You choose to be busy. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying issue for being busy. Busy? Are you even busy for real? Or are you telling yourself you're busy and just trying to keep yourself busy? What else is coming in for Capricorn? So we got forgiveness heals. So time to release any repressed anger. It's blocking you from health and happiness. And then we have bless your heart. We got the ruby. That could be another gemstone for y'all. Reach out for emotional and supportive support to heal and mend your heart. This is for those of y'all that are constantly feeling like you're trying to heal right now and nothing's really working. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Can I get everybody to flood the comments with their zodiac sign, their city, and their relationship status, even if you are not a Capricorn, y'all? And can we get the CA in the comments, please, y'all? We had 64 shares, y'all. Can we make it to at least 100? What else is coming in for Capricorn? So for a lot of my Capricorns, somebody got a 12-year-old, we got the awakening. So for a lot of you, this is a spiritual awakening. And if for some of y'all, this is just the awakening in general. Maybe you're finally coming into some money or finally waking up. We got Raleigh, North Carolina in the building. We got Memphis, Tennessee. Somebody got a 12-year-old, maybe five. So we got the wise counselor. So with the awakening and the wise counselor, I'm convinced that this is a new beginning coming in for you. I'm convinced that this is a fresh start coming in for you as well. Okay, we got Alabama in the building. So we got the two of fire. So we got planning. We got partnering. We got progress. Some of my Capricorns could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For those of y'all that are dealing with a fire sign, you could be going into business with this fire sign or you could be in a romantic connection. I am seeing a seven of air. So some of y'all are dealing with some consequences. Some of y'all received some karma. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but 
We got the eight of water, water energy. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm seeing a lot of y'all are searching for your life purpose, like empowerment, fulfillment. A lot of you are trying to figure out what's going to work for you right now. That's the big thing for a lot of my Capricorns is figuring out what's going to work for them as far as prosperity and abundance. We got Kansas City in the building. What else is coming in for Capricorn right now? We got the Empress. Somebody got a four-year-old. So we got organization. We got leadership. We got structure. Somebody's dealing with an Aries. That's Aries energy. I'm getting a lot of you are needing this in your life. A lot of you provide this in somebody's life as well. What is the final message for Capricorn? So we got the Ace of Air. We got inspirational communication and adjustment. So that's going to be the big thing for a lot of my Capricorns as well. And then we got the sun. Somebody got a 19-year-old. So this is the indication of a new beginning. This is the indication of a fresh start. Thank you, baby, for that AP. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Uh-oh. I got that. <laughs> All right, boo. I got you. What's the final message? We got St. Louis in the building. So thank you, Goddess Joey. I appreciate you, baby. Thank you. Got it. I forgot your son, baby. You know I'll be on it. Isn't it Taurus? No, it's Libra. 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 That's what it is. It's Libra. Yeah, uh huh. I knew it. Okay. All right, y'all. So we will be ending this live with Libra. Unless another donation is sent then y'all. What's the final message for Capricorn? Today, Capricorn's match is going to be Libra. So... We got the four air. We got meditation, recuperation, and contemplation. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this is getting back to yourself. For a lot of my Capricorns, this is focusing on your prosperity and getting back to who you were. And we got the sister air. So we got relief. We got hope. We got moving on. This is moving forward respectfully. I appreciate every single Capricorn. Thank you.